Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. Typically, you do that by not doing anything illegal or immoral. We have a lot of students coming into America, 1.5 million allegedly, are here internationally. And while in some countries of Africa and in impoverished nations, it's really marvelous for them because they truly have a heart, mind, and soul to return to their country and make a difference. But there are other countries, peoples, who come to America with no intention of leaving after school. They make life liaisons with American students for several reasons, either to play with as partners on campus to learn more English and become better people, or to play with them to eventually take them elsewhere. And that's all I'm going to say about that. If you understand human trafficking, you'll also understand that sometimes a country's people comes into America with different technology different education and different understanding of chemistry and life and death. You see, mortality rates around the world are not something that we often talk about, but we should. Learning what other countries' students are learning about us is essential. There was at one time a film called Two Million Minutes, and actually the documentarian got quite a lot of fame on television and PBS and other places with it. But in that film was actually one of my alma maters where they actually interviewed some students there. So my guess is it was probably a parent of one of our people. The advantage of an affluent community on a company or a family that comes from the middle class is that they learn a lot about life. They can see the spectrum of life because we had a community in our affluent community that was known for lesser quality of life, more difficulties, and more strife. It was called Hometown. And that was a part of our little village there that was probably originally part of the town when it was long ago called Bethlehem. But today it has a marvelous name and it has a person in that space that claims a lot of fame, even photographs with President Bush. But what we can say about people who like to lie, steal, and cheat is that they like to take it on the town.